Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at some of the new settings within Toggleables. What are Toggleables? Well, those are off-canvas elements, modals, and drop-downs. So without further ado, let's dive in. We're going to go ahead and start from scratch, and I'm going to create a three-column layout here so that we can just nicely add each of these new elements in here. So the first element that we're going to start with is the modal element. So let's go ahead and drag our modal element into column one here and take a look at some of the new settings here. As you'll notice, a lot of this looks the same as what you were used to, but there are some new toggles in here for things like escape key close and direct close active. So what does that mean? Well, escape key close is pretty self-explanatory. We can simply toggle this on, close out of this. Now we'll open it up again. And when I click the escape key on my keyboard, it closes out of that modal. If I have this off and I open that modal and click the escape key on my keyboard, nothing is happening. So a nice way to add some additional user experience to your modals. Additionally, we have direct close here, which is set to active. And what that allows you to do is click anywhere in the empty space outside of your modal and the modal will close. And this is currently the default state of all modals. But now you have the option to deactivate that. So let's go ahead and deactivate direct close. Now when we open up this modal and we try clicking in the empty space around it, it does not close. Now, the only way to close it is either with the X in the upper right hand corner or because we have escape key close active, we can click on the escape key and that modal will close. Now, in the same fashion, if I were to open up our off canvas element over here and drag that out, you'll notice that this has some of the same features as well. Direct close, which allows us to click in the gray space over here, and also escape key close, which allows us to open the canvas and hit the escape key to close the canvas. And then finally, we have our drop downs here. And if we drag out our drop down, you'll notice that it also has some of those same features with the escape key close and direct close available. But in addition to that, our drop down also has an inline toggle, which then inlines our drop down with our toggle, which is great for menu items if you're creating a navigation where you want to easily be able to tab from the toggle into a menu in the drop down because it's preserving the order in line with the toggle. So in addition to these, we also also have some prefab elements. We can type in modal, which has an inner close. And if we drag this out to column one here, you'll notice that we no longer have a close button up here, but we do have a close wrapper and an icon for our toggleable close here. So this is a custom close button within our modal container window here. So if we were even to widen this out to something like 80 M's here, you'll notice that our close button simply scales with our container. So this is a nice way to sort of change up the look of your modals and very similarly, we have our off canvas custom close, which we can drag in here. And you'll notice this has a custom close button up top, which if I click on that, I can come into graphic, scroll down, and I could type in alien. And now our close button here could be an alien. Clicking that then closes our off canvas element. So a nice way to have some deeper level of controls over your toggleables. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.